Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913 and we are Let's Play Dragon Quest Monsters Caravan Heart. In the last episode, we made it to the town of Hamlin or Moonpita. Anyways, uh, I did say I was going to move the uh, caravan out of the tent. Whatever. And we got to fight some Obai. And yeah, these guys are pretty simple right now if you can get plant parts from them, that would be nice, but you can only do what you can do, right? Anyways, let me show you something that, uh, what I learned, maybe, from Mr. Dr. Professor Die. You see those plus threes, plus ten, plus five? Those mean, I believe those mean, as he was saying, it's plus whatever of level cap. So let's say, best news, level cap is level ten. He can actually go up to level twenty instead, so that's kind of cool. That's pretty nice. So let's uh, actually head back. Nice, I just fought a wild ape and got a wild ape heart. Cool. And a healer heart, which I want to get heal us. As you can see, they learn that. Eventually, I'll probably change Salon or someone into doing that. But let's get our tent and move on down. Oh, we got ourselves a merchant. Look at that, Mr. Merchant, he's coming by to sell us goods, let's see what he's got. Oh, he's got a World Leaf, which brings your one ally back to life, which is pretty good. It's kind of expensive, but sure, alright. Um, no, I should've just got Wing of Wyvern and Warp Bat, but... What are you gonna do? Anyways, we need to... Oh, we got new enemies here, Goopy! Let's use Firebane on Goopy Group, whatever. Oh wow, it doesn't kill the Goopy, holy crap. You figure Firebane would. It's a mid-level fire spell. Steal some money. Attack. Double Slash, I like that. Yeah, I really enjoy a warrior, or whatever they're called, assassin, or... and we level up. Look at that power. Learn fire breath and sleep. Mm... You know what? For fire breath, I will get rid of blaze. And for sleep, I am not getting rid of anything for sleep. Sleep sucks. Well, I don't think it sucks, but it's definitely not worth my time. So we're in the Moonbrook region. Alright, where is everybody? You need your ration. Blah, blah, blah. Of course it won't be free, of course. Because you're a DB. A douchebag. Alright, let's go. Yeah, well, we're gonna have to fight. We're gonna have to fight. Anyways, let's bring down... Yay, ration consumption has returned to normal. Very cool. I forgot I had that curse on me. Yay, bring down the tent. Because there's no reason... Ooh, we got some new enemies, Nocto King. These guys are the big fat bat guys. And they're, they're not too hard, as you can see. Totally whipped their A, but they're, they're, uh... If we get a heart from them, their hearts are pretty good. So let's bring this bad boy down. And actually, I'm going to bring it even more this way than, than that one town. Because we won't have to go back to that town. Yay! And what we want to do is head west. And as you can see the coast over there. As you can see the coast over there. Pretty cool. That's where we went to go to the Tower of uh, Wind in the original game. I don't know if we need to go that way exactly. Oh, we got ourselves a traveling noble. Let's see if we can make him... Let's see if we can entertain him. So let's see. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop 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 -doop. And we did. Look at that. We did. And he gives us money. Depending on how... It's random, I guess. 
so how much money you get. I, I actually got 230 gold from him a couple of times. Alright, now let's try to head to Moonbrook. Oh yeah, alright, we're almost in Moonbrook. Hey, look at this, a wandering gambler! Look at him, he's a goof-off. That's what a goof-off looks like. Maybe I'm up for poker. Alright, well, I'll show you the poker. If you get 2,001 gold coins, I'll give you a gold pass. I think what a gold pass does is it lowers the price or something of... Oh no, it's 25% off. Or you get 25%. Like, say, let's say you buy something for 100 gold coins. At least if this is from Dragon Quest 2 knowledge. If you buy stuff that costs, let's say, 100 buckery dues. Um, I don't even... I forget how to play poker. Holy crap. I think I want to hold... That and that. Oh, too bad. Anyways, you can play over here. I forget how to play poker. Holy crud! It's been forever. And you can bet. You can bet more than. You can bet more than one. Uh, yeah. Let's see if I'll get. Oh. Anyways, if 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 the gold card works, like I think it works. Alright, nice. If it works like I think it works, if you buy something at 100 coins or gold, then you should get 25 gold for it off. Which is pretty cool, so it takes away 25%. At least that's what I think. Yay, we made it to Moonbrook, so let's set up camp around here. For the time being. We set up camp, this is a good place, blah blah blah, base of operations. Yeah, because I don't know if we'll have to go back to that town. And look at that, now that you put... If you put that, those three people in the wagon together, they'll do something. But for the time being, I don't even want to. Because, seriously, what am I going to do with three mappers in a fight? Not much. Let's leave the base camp and head over to Moonbrook. From what they said... Yep, it's still destroyed, but they have some nice music playing here. At least it's not, you know, I mean, it's totally destroyed again, and, uh, yeah, darkness gnaws at the human spirit, huh? Yeah, it's just, uh, it's just odd that, like, they, it, because what, I mean, I believe the people of Hamlin said it was destroyed, obviously, from Hargon. Rebuilt, and then destroyed again. Or no, no, fallen into ruins. Yeah, okay, lineage alone, I get you. So let's, uh, let's go see the, uh, who's sitting on the throne over here. A kitty? Whoa, it's a ghost. What should we do, Kiefer? Wait. Aren't ghosts supposed to be hideous? You got me. A real beauty instead. You boys are cute, so I'll forgive you. Don't say it again. That'd be cruel. I'm sorry. And this woman's name, this spirit's name is Kushalami. She's an illusion, and I believe she's the illusion of wind. I could be wrong. And if you remember in Dragon Quest VII, the illusion of wind was a whore. Well, not a whore, but she was a... She liked to fool around with fellas. Anyways, uh, yeah. So if you're one of the illusions, you're not going to give us an orb for free. Listen to my request. Right now... You know how beautiful I am, and it's only fitting that I enjoy beautiful things. Bring me beautiful things. Three should do nicely. You know what you need to do? Go out and find them. So, we need to go and find three beautiful things. That's the way... Uh, there's a gem, a handsome man, and a young... and something else. And so, we have to... Yeah. Okay, so the Master of Illusions is acting funny? Anyways, yeah, we need to find three beautiful things. A young man, 
who is probably that bard that we talked to earlier. And what we want to do is head to the Tower of Wind first. I should probably... I should probably move my camp closer to the tower, but whatever. Anyways, if you come over... Anyways, if you come over here... Anyways, if you come over here, you remember this spot. If you played the original Dragon Quest 2, this is the spot where we get the Mirror of Lar. And sadly... You know what? I don't even think we can search in this game. Alright, so now if we come down... Alright, now if we... Oh, well, I guess we don't go down there. Let's go... Let's go this way. Because if you remember, the bard said that he was going... Oh, we got some new enemies. Dance veggies. Yeah, and if you remember correctly, um... The bard said that he was going to the Tower of Wind, so let's go see if we can find him. If the game would let me. Alright. Well, it looks like I went totally the wrong way. Huh. Alright, so I guess we do have to go all the way around. What the hell? Oh, we got some new, more new enemy stone spider. Let's try up save power. Basically, what that does is it lets you save power, uh, you know, you don't attack one round, and then the next round you totally do like a double attack, like you hit times two, so it's kind of neat, kind of neat. Anyways, another thing I've noticed while I've been playing this game, oh, look, here we go, here's a creepy shadow, now this guy looks like he was probably an opai, because I've never heard of those other two, and look at that. You were an old, and then you're going to give us your heart, aren't you? Thank you. Go to heaven. Go to heaven. All right, so let's. Oh, we got. Here we go. Here's where we got that bull bird meat from. Let's use fire breath. Why not? <coughs> Excuse me. Yep, these are the bull birds, and we must have uh, cut up the good parts and ate them good. Yeah, that double slash is wonderful. Let's see the fire breath. Not, not that good. Wait till I get some really good abilities. There's like, ooh, wow, that was a, that was hurtful. No, we don't want to use fire breath again. Throw that bee. Kill that bird. And we win. Yeah, but I've noticed that a lot of plant, excuse me, plant-like monsters usually give you a lot of, uh, or usually give you um, rations, which is pretty nice. Oh, we got ourselves some new enemies, berserkers. Now, if I can get hearts from these guys, these guys are more like humanoids, although I don't think they have a humanoid class in this game. You'd probably go under Beast, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, the Berserkers, they're classic. They're from Dragon Quest 2. They're pretty cool. I wish I'd get a heart. I don't know I don't know how you guarantee a heart. Okay, so you can go up from there, or you can come this way. And those wild apes, they can sometimes drop big apples, which is nice. Another big apple from the wild ape. Alright, cool. What's over here? Ooh, a port. Nice. Yeah, try to remember where these ports are. And we get a merman heart. Cool. Oh no, I want to check that barrel, damn it. Let me go back in. Yeah, these ports will be very useful later when we uh, actually are able to use them. Whoa, alone? Yeah, why are people so ignorant? We got tool shop here. We can purchase various things. Fish, wing of wyvern, herbs. Don't need any of that stuff. The tower of wind. Yeah, well, there must be something up there. I don't know. Did something bad happen? You people can't get any ships to come around here. But we got a merman heart, and that's very awesome. Let's look at it. Vivify, which is a pretty good spell. That revives your characters about halfway at 50% probability. 
So that's kind of neat. Let's try to get to the Tower of Wind and end the episode here. Oh, we got new enemies here. Floor Jays and Beelzebubs. And Floor Jays are actually one of the things that I believe I turned, um... I think I turned someone into a Floor Jay. Yeah, this new. I turned him into a Floor Jay. He was pretty good as a Floor Jay. He's a plant type monster, even though it's, even though it's really a bird. I mean, whatever. But yeah, these guys are interesting. But yeah, it's a good idea to remember where these ports are because when we're when we're um because when we're doing our thing and actually use the ports, we're gonna need to remember where the hell they were. All right, cool. Let's keep going. We gotta go south. Oh, look at this! We happen across a pond! <gasps> look, a beautiful woman appeared from the pond, and she's the spirit of this pond. And basically, she'll, if you throw in something terrible, she'll turn it into something like, alright. Obviously, you can't throw in anything really, really powerful, otherwise, she won't. She won't give you anything, so let's throw in an herb. A herb, and she'll give us a love water. Thank you. Yeah, sadly it doesn't work with, like, orbs of Loto or anything like that. Actually, while we're over here, let's use fishing. You gotta be kidding me. Catch a fish? Oh, come on. Where the hell is this tower? There it is. Here is the tower, but first we want to head into this shrine here. Before we hit the tower. And this shrine will help us out, as you can see. We could have went through Moonbrook to here, but we couldn't because guess what? There's a door in the way, an iron bar. So what we want to do is pull the lever, and there we go. Now we now we got a shortcut to Moonbrook. Thank goodness. Anyways, in the next episode, we will explore. Oh, actually, let me try something. We will explore the we will explore the Tower of Wind and. Hopefully find the bard or something. Anyways, this has been Kenshin1913. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.